Hello, Yella here. Uh, today, the uh, C490 chipset is uh, being released. So uh, we have the opportunity to unbox a few uh, motherboards. Sadly, the uh, CPUs actually uh, didn't uh, get released today. So uh, we can't really share any performance numbers or something like that. Uh, these motherboards also don't support the older uh, CPUs, so we can only start them up with the um, the brand new CPU so we, we can't even show them running but what we can do is uh, we can unbox them that's what we're allowed to do so uh, we will be unboxing two gigabyte motherboards and one from uh, MSI this uh, right here is the C490 Eros uh, Master which is uh, the second biggest in, in their lineup as far as I am, uh, I am aware so it's uh, it's not a budget board for sure. It's it's gonna be a little bit pricey, but it it will also have the um, the features to match for sure. So um, let's open uh, open it up and see what's here. Uh, first, we're greeted with the uh, motherboard, of course, but uh, we're gonna put that aside for a second and and look at that uh, as last. Uh, the first thing we see here is actually a bunch of uh, stickers from uh, from Gigabyte. This is not unusual to uh, to see on uh, on motherboards, I think. But uh, also, I know a lot of people don't really use these stickers because we're not really pimping our cases as we used to back in the day. Uh, what I do find interesting is that we get the uh, cable labels down here, which um, allows you to see both ends of uh, of your SATA cable, for example, after you have cable managed uh, your case. So this is uh, pretty good, but the rest, I, I think the majority of users will, will not really be using, to be honest. Uh, next, we have a manual in multiple uh, languages. This is uh, just a small, small manual. Uh, that shows how to basically install your CPU cooler and install the graphics card and RAM and stuff like that. Uh, your case will definitely not be the same. So like these with uh, DVD drives and stuff, I, I don't know how useful that is actually going to be. Uh, moving on to the big manual here. Um, first of all, there's a CD inside with all the drivers, and it also has uh, what we call a case batch uh, right here. Um, of course, you should always download the, the newest drivers from, from the website. Uh, the, the manual is, is quite thick, and it's just typical uh, gigabyte to, to make a, a manual this big. It describes basically uh, everything that's, uh, that has to do with, with this particular motherboard. Uh, let's dig down a little bit deeper and we find a G connector. This is to put in your power LED, your HDD LED and, and power switch and reset uh, switch. So you can easily put it uh, into the motherboard. This makes it a little bit easier to assemble. Uh, we have a Wi-Fi antenna here. I don't know if this board actually comes with Bluetooth or not, but there are two uh, connectors here. So maybe I will have to research a little bit on that. We have two RGB uh, extension cables, which are pretty nice to have. Um, SATA cables, we have four. Uh, two of them with a 90 degree angle on one of them, on one of the, the connectors. So that is pretty nice as well. Uh, then we have two temperature probes here. Uh, these of course connect to the motherboard and the other one you can place wherever uh, you want, like the, the probe. You, you can place it in your case uh, however you want. And uh, what that's, uh, you, w with that you can um, adjust the fan speeds uh, for, for some of your fans in your case, uh, depending on the temperature of various places in your case. Uh, the last one, uh, it kind of looks like a microphone, I think. Uh, it's, it is a noise detector or some sort, as far as I can figure out, just by, uh, by looking at the motherboard. Um, it, you, 
you can connect it to the motherboard and maybe you can control some fans or something from uh, from the noise that this one detects or something i i don't know but that was everything in the box so the last thing we have is of course the motherboard itself it's pretty heavy uh, it comes with a back plate which is steel now i can't really get this open there we go um, so it looks like this and it uh, it's pretty beefy not only because of the back plate of course we have uh, very very big uh, vrm uh, heat sinks and that of course goes with uh, with the big vrm here uh, i actually don't know the uh, the setting of of the vrm that we have here there are um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen chokes here it doesn't mean that we have 15 power stages underneath but uh, i think that we actually do um i i don't know the um the configuration of this vrm or anything i haven't looked at it yet so uh, i'm gonna be looking at that in our danish review for for this board because these are um on release dates usually i would go over the whole motherboard but uh not this time um just a a, a quick look here uh at the bottom here we see uh, a lot of fan connectors uh these uh, there, there's also what uh, one up here and we have two for the cpu um I'm sure that there are more, but I actually didn't really check it out. But uh, at least you can have a lot of fans connected to this motherboard. Um, you have a reset switch down here, and then you have the uh, noise uh, connector thing. I don't exactly know what this is yet, but uh, we'll figure that one out later. Uh, two USB 2.0 for uh, front connectors. And uh, what is this? I think this is a TPM. I, I can't really see from here. Two RGB. Uh, connectors they one of them is missing a pin i don't really know a whole lot of uh, rgb connectors or anything so uh, these are probably like two types of of connectors then we have a uh, gigabytes uh, dual bios uh, switch so you can turn dual bios on and off and you can choose between um, both uh, bios as uh, as you uh, like the thing is, uh, usually you should leave uh, the um, dual BIOS on, but um, for generations now, Gigabyte knows that their dual BIOS system will, will, it will um, automatically change from uh, one BIOS to the other if it detects a corruption. That is really not good if you're extreme overclocking, which this board should be definitely uh, able to, to do then you, you can switch it off so it doesn't just randomly change uh, BIOS chip, which is uh, pretty neat. Uh, then you have your audio, of course, and another connector here. I don't really see what that is. Uh, we have six SATA ports. Uh, that's pretty neat. Today we, uh, we usually find six SATA ports, but then again, we, we also use the M.2. There's uh, M.2 under here and under here. I think there's one under here as well. And this will act like uh, one big heatsink for uh, for the uh, M.2 drives that you, you have installed. Uh, what do we find? We find a USB-C connector for the uh, front panel. That's type C and then a USB 3.0 uh, front panel connector. Uh, we find a post LED uh, up here, which is pretty nice. You know what's going on when, when the motherboard is turning on. That's, that's always nice. We have two more RGB uh, connectors up here. Again, two different types, I think. Not, not entirely sure. Um, moving on to the connectors down here, or up here, I should say. We have uh, two 8-pin connectors, usually one pin, uh, one 8-pin connector would be enough um, especially since these are rated for 384 watts per per connector uh, if you don't have a uh, 2 8 pin it's fine to go by just one uh, 8 pin uh, i think uh, if we go back to the 9900k uh, i i think not even that can can actually max out one 8 pin connector unless you're really pushing it with uh, liquid nitrogen um so having two connectors is kind of 
overkill, but you're still safe in, in that way. So uh, as a last thing, well, we can actually just take a look at the backplate here because there's, yeah, there's not a lot to say about it, really. It, it covers a lot, but I don't know. I think that there's some kind of thermal interface between the, the backside of the VRM and the plate. So this whole plate is going to act like uh, a one big heatsink. It doesn't have a ton of surface area for uh, for that, but at least it uh, it's something rather than nothing. Uh, moving on to the I.O. We see a clear CMOS button, which is really nice to have back here if you're um, doing some overclocking, be it extreme overclocking or not. It's always nice to, to have the uh, reset BIOS button accessible, even though the whole board is, is installed in a case. You can uh, update the, uh, the BIOS on, uh, on this board as well, just by having a USB key installed with the, with the right BIOS. You don't have to have a USB, uh, USB uh, CPU installed uh, or any RAM or anything. You just need power, basically. Uh, we have our two connectors here. At least uh, I see Wi-Fi 6 here, but I still don't know if there's any uh, Bluetooth. Maybe there is. Four, uh, USB 2, it looks like. Uh, and then we have two, USB 3.2. Those are Type A, of course. We have a, an HDMI, so the, uh, the CPUs might have uh, inter integrated GPU that has been there for generations, so I don't think that's really anything new. Uh, again, a USB 3.2 Type-A and then a Type-C. We have two more USB 3.2 over here, and then we have two and a half gig uh, LAN, uh, which is the only LAN uh, card that you get on, uh, on this board. I, I really like that they're moving on from, from one gigabit. I feel like we have been having one gigabit for, what, nearly a decade now. So uh, we, we need something faster because um, with uh, home servers and NASes and stuff being so popular, uh, it's, it's really good to have that extra speed. As, uh, as a last thing, we see just the, uh, the audio out. And of course, uh, there's a microphone in or something here. And, uh, an SPDIF uh, here as well. So that is the C490 Aorus Master motherboard. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, I will see you next time.